Good morning, beautiful people. How are you guys? Welcome back to Liu, Live Everything in Wonder, and welcome back in Lucky Land. And welcome back to our van conversion. <laughs> we are Luca and Sara from Liu, Live Everything in Wonder. We have traveled from Alaska to Argentina, remodeling and renovating our old truck camper Lucky Liu on the road. We are now back in Italy, and we are keeping our do-it-yourself skills in good shape, challenging ourselves with projects that we've never done before. We started the build of the cabinets for this closet on the right side. We have done all the wiring. We installed the roof vent. We have a new entry in the Liu family. It's a power station, a portable power station. When you are in the middle of a van conversion, you hope that you can finish a day seeing something that it's complete, done. Actually, it's never like this. This is our Renault Traffic 2003. During the next days, and in this video, we will work on different projects. The first one is this cabinet, uh, this side. Uh, we start bending this uh, three days ago. It has been sitting there. You can see the it, sun, the sun uh, changed some colors, but now it has the right shape. Uh, wow. If you look Me, at From the side, you can see how beautiful it is. And from this side too. Always the same technique, guys. We are using the pre-existing holes of the van without changing anything. As you can see, it's losing the shape, so we need to screw it uh, straight away, so it will keep uh, the shape. Uh, that we want. This is the structure of our wardrobe. We are already installing everything. In this way, we can see how the reality is and take all the right measurements. We are building the other side of the cabinet. Once we have the two sides, we are ready to measure inside. It's a pain in the A because we don't have the ceiling done yet because we are waiting for all the wiring and all the power system that we will receive next week. So without having the ceiling, we don't know the exact height of this piece of everything. Actually, we know más o menos, but Everything should be one millimeter perfect, but we decided to go ahead, otherwise it would be too late. They are all attempts, yes. all attempts, because it's impossible to know exactly, you see, how, how much we should go inside, how much we should cut. It's pretty hard. Let's try it like this uh, and see how it goes. Attempt number two. It's almost correct, but we need to cut off yeah from here you can from see here. exactly yeah this, this thing is for the door yeah this is the plan we draw this plan for the cabinet we bought all this wood spruce today it's really hard to keep going because of the temperature probably a storm is coming so we are pretty happy about it, it seems that we are always showing you the same but hours have gone by. We need to attach uh, another piece of wood here and we have to be square, square. Everything has to be perfect. So we have to check everything and we have one shot. So I, I close my It's definitely raining, guys. What is this? <laughs> Sponsored by this closet will have three closet doors 
on the, on the lower floor yeah the lower part and then on the upper part we will have here one door that will transform into a table then we will have the middle area that will be empty and then a little cabinet here on the right so we will have one two three four five different doors and one empty space that we will use for recharging our gear, laptop, computer, whatever we need. The table will be really functional this side because our kitchen and our sink will be here. And everything should perfectly fit, guys, because the bed will be 130 centimeter. So the space from here to the wall should be exactly 130. We don't have room for any mistakes in this moment. No room for errors. Exactly. Oh yes. Aperitivo time. Cheers guys. Nothing guys. Nothing happened. <laughs> Great team. Okay, so let's try to cut uh, the yes. piece that will go here. This is attempt number 10. We want to fit this in here, but we have to cut this and all this and all this. We always work uh, until dark. Uh, but now we are not able to work anymore because we still need to make some uh, cuts uh, really, really accurate yeah. and millimetric. So guys, we'll call it for the day. We will see you tomorrow. Good morning, beautiful people. We love waking up at 6.30, 7 a.m. so we can enjoy our garden. Luca is taking care of the plants. I am enjoying my coffee. And every morning we are making a tour of the garden, looking if something new has grown during the night. I would like to make a tour together with you. We have some bougainville here, beautiful sunflowers, Luca working. We have our chickpeas, they need to dry completely so this yellow color is correct. Core di bue tomatoes, they are getting Pretty huge. It's kind of a forest of tomatoes. And here we have the perino. Grapes. We have the datterini, the black ciliegini. Yellow datterini. Look at this amazing artichoke flower. No wonder that this is one of my favorite food. Our morning ritual in the garden is over, also because the sun has almost reached the furgon and the van. And this is not good. It's good for now. Let's finish the closet, what do you think? Yes, let's try. <laughs> wow, what is this beautiful van? Okay, beautiful people, we put many, many pocket holes, uh, screws uh, on this uh, wood. We will be on a van, traveling, moving, uh, so this has to be really strong. Uh, and uh, Sara wanted to have it uh, in line here. You see, really flat. I love it. Today we are starting to work on the ceiling, on the roof. Uh, so first of all, we will have to make the hole <laughs> for the roof vent on this side because on this side we will have the solar panel we have the new roof rack uh, on the roof uh, we will have to make some uh, 
changes uh, we will have to modify some pieces uh, but uh, we will be able to fit uh, everything I'm positive let's start with the frame the inside frame it's a square vent uh, when we know exactly where we want to uh, to have the roof vent uh, we will make some holes uh, so we can uh, cut from outside uh, but first we need to know where we want it inside uh. today we are not alone here in lucky land because we have a really difficult job to do and we are together with a friend Alessio hi ciao, ciao. what are you doing here? watching <laughs> why watching. you are helping? helping okay are you happy? yes uh, today I have somebody who can uh, help us uh, Alessio is a friend of mine uh, we work together we had fun together He's a photographer and a video maker. We will have two hands, two arms and one brain more today. So we are pretty <laughs> happy. <laughs> I'm going to pick the zucchini, guys. I know, I'm sorry, always zucchini. But we need to take advantage and use what we have from the garden. And we have zucchini in this moment. So today we will prepare a zucchini frittata. The frittata is super easy to do what we need for this recipe. Zucchini, onion, eggs, salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil and if you have some parmesan. We are trying to figure out uh, where is the best uh, position where to place uh, the roof vent uh, because uh, we have this kind of uh, shape uh, of the ceiling of the roof uh, that uh, when we will have to install the, um, the vent uh, you can see this gap uh, we will have to seal it uh, and uh, here we are from the inside but we have the same situation on the outside here it's uh, smaller it's flat. Almost. It's almost flat. Uh, it's just like uh, 5 millimeters, uh, and here is like uh, 15 or 20 millimeters. Uh, so we are trying to figure out where to put it and make it more sealed and more, you know, reliable with the time, uh, with rain and all everything that will be going on. It's wrong. <laughs> I have to do it again. <laughs> I told you it will be a lot of mistakes. Uh, to learn, uh, you have to make mistakes. It's easy to say it's just two when you know what to do, but when it's the first time doing it, uh, it's not just doing something. Running down the same road, like so many times before. I never felt as long. They said it would be easy Still I'm giving all I got I just want to tell you something It must have been something I forgot All this time It was never enough So please uh, what are you doing? First hole Going back now. I'm going back. I hope that it's right this time. I hope so too, Sarah. So oh. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a hole. It's the best uh, girl you can find out there. <laughs> it's mine. Today is the day. Luca will cut the hole in the roof. You ready? We are cutting the. Roof rack first, Luca will reinforce the roof rack then. Mm -hmm. 
As Sarah said, uh, we have three brains uh, and Ale just told me, why don't you put some wood uh, down there so it doesn't move? And this looks perfect. You see, this one is shaky and this one... Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Just use the brain, you know. We, are, we have three brains here to use and Ale is the only one using it. <laughs> <laughs> piece of the roof uh. okay we officially have hello <laughs> we are building the framing for the roof the ceiling because then we will apply we will do the wood cladding Ale is helping me to take all the measurements I'm cutting everything some screws for this that we will buy tomorrow so we can finish this project too tomorrow we'll also buy the wiring okay thank you Ale for the help thank you Alessio you're the best put some glue first and then nail it with the nail gun nice and perfect I have to admit uh, I like using the nail gun like a skeleton for today this is all beautiful people we will catch you tomorrow we are installing our fiamma roof vent and uh, there are many steps uh, you have to do before or during the installation of the roof vent we already show building the wood structure we already show cutting the roof uh, and now I pre-drill the holes uh, for um, all the screws that we will be putting here there are 20 screws and now we need to seal with this and with this you can see all the holes uh, I mark where we need to seal all this part and then we will also seal on top uh, where the screws are At first I didn't think about it At first Let's go Let's check from the inside Yeah This seems really good This will be the moment of truth To yes. see if you if The holes are yeah. in the correct place Really tight space. I changed my mind and got behind it. I got behind it. And then it's done. Like this, the screws. Yes, great job. It's time to give uh, some power to this electric fan. We only need to connect to cables uh, here we have our touch screen display we only need to connect uh, these two cables here and the other
cables that will go to the batteries to the 12 volts uh, power system that I drill already here. This one will go all the way to the batteries down there. We will explain our electric system in a future video when our solar panels, uh, our batteries, our inverter and everything uh, will arrive. Uh, we don't have it here yet. We have our roof vent. It looks already like a real camper right now. When we want to have some light, uh, we can leave it like this. Uh, when we want to sleep, uh, we can close it. We're putting all the wires uh, for the LED lights, uh, for the um, power sockets. Uh, so this is uh, the job for the day. We are waiting for our power system slash electrical system to arrive. I think it will be in the next few days. In the meantime, beside our classic electrical system, we have a new entry in the Liu family. It's a power station, a portable power station. Ta -da! This is the Max Oak Blue AT EB240. It's big and it's one of the best solar generators and portable stations on the market. This guy here will save us in different situations. You can use two charging ways, one with AC pocket and the other one with solar panels. It would be a game changer, at least for us. Yeah, so it's like having a, a fire extinguisher. In case you need it, it can save your day, it can save your van, uh, but uh, if you don't have it, then uh, if you finish all the power or you're forced uh, to park uh, somewhere where there is no sun, uh, where you are in a closed environment, uh, this uh, can save you, especially if you are a YouTuber and you need uh, to work with the electricity to edit and upload videos. Uh, charge your gear, camera, drone, uh, whatever you use, uh, this can save you. This portable power station will allow us to be more free and to have less fear to run out of electricity. From here you can see that it's fully charged. With the AC power, this will be fully recharged in 15, 16 hours. With the solar panels, I, I don't know, I cannot say how long does it take because this depends on the power of your solar panels. It is 22 kilos, so 48.5 pounds. Beside our installed fixed electrical system inside the van, we will also add and find a place where to put this portable power station. This will be a new, our new companion for our Italian adventure on the road. If you want, you can find some coupons that will allow you to have some discount on this beast here. Check the link in the description below. We decided where to place the six LED lights. So we have one here, the other one on this side. Then two here and two here. We'll have two switches, one here at this entrance and the other one at that entrance on our modular closet, kitchen. Quick update guys, so we cut the last niche in our plywood, on our links, oh, it's links. on our you know, on our left side, sure. links is uh, in, in German, now Luca is preparing here the hole for the switch, what we will do, we will cut the plywood in two, two pieces so it will be easier to just remove one part, insulate with the foam and close it and then do the same on the other side. Once we have done this, we can start with the wood cladding on the ceiling, on the roof and then coming down on this side. When this side and the roof will be finished, we can cut the cabinets of our closet perfectly. So come on. Voilà. 
We have now two pieces ready for the insulation. Vamos. It's time to insulate everything. everything. I'm so happy to see this wall almost done. When you are in the middle of a van conversion, you hope that you can finish a day seeing something that it's complete, done. And actually it's never like this. We have a lot to do, but still it's so rewarding every day to see the progress, to see, to see that you improve something in the conversion. We started the build of the cabinets for this closet on the right side we installed the roof vent we have done all the wiring uh, so as you can see we have all the wiring coming down from the roof and we have finish uh, almost finished i only need uh, still to put the wood cladding we hope you guys enjoy today's video the italian words uh, are amico friend elettricità electricity tetto Roof. Amico. Friend. Elettricità. Electricity. Tetto. Roof. <laughs> okay, beautiful people. If you liked uh, the video, please show it to us with a big uh, thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video. And please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's for free and it's the best way to support us, to help us, uh, to help the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking with us. We love you. We appreciate you. Stay with us because we will keep going with our van conversion. See you in the next one. La vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Alla prossima. Ciao. Ciao.